What is MassNow and how does the organization support women in the state? MassNow is a grassroots feminist organization that has been fighting for feminist policy for over 50 years. We are member-led and are fighting for over 40 different bills at the State House and also do education amongst our feminist community around intersectional feminism. Beautiful. Intersectional is a word that we're hearing a lot more uh, used these days. How would you define intersectional feminism and what are some of the issues that MassNow is working to address right now? Intersectional feminism is a way to describe thinking about people not just through one lens of gender, but recognizing that we all have very different parts of our lived experience that contribute to how we experience gender, including race, class, ability, um, size, the list goes on. And when we can validate and see all of those different parts of our identity, we can have a better strategy to finding both gender equity and racial equity and social justice in general. Mm. And um, what are some of the issues that MassNow is working right now? So the top of our legislative agenda right now is fighting for a bill that is called the I AM bill. I AM is an acronym for increased access to menstrual products. And if passed, this bill would make menstrual products, uh, tampons or pads, no cost to all students in schools and all shelters and incarcerated facilities statewide. So important. And can you tell us a little bit about the Massachusetts Menstrual Equity Coalition? Yeah, we started the MME Coalition in 2019 when we worked with our lead sponsors to introduce this bill to bring together all of the different stakeholders and volunteers that are working on the ground to identify period poverty and work to fill those gaps so that together we can communicate this issue, which is not a new issue. People have been experiencing period poverty forever. It's just new to talk about and use our combined forces to communicate to the legislature how we have examples of best practices here in Massachusetts already. And we should be taking a stand to make sure that statewide people have access to these products. And since you just mentioned it, uh, period poverty, can you break down what that is and who in Boston is affected by it? Yeah, period poverty is not being able to afford menstrual products. Sometimes period poverty looks like using unhygienic substitutes for menstrual products, like using toilet paper or socks or rags for menstrual products. And these are experiences that are so common because these products are not free, they're often um, for sale in bathrooms or even school nurses sometimes have to charge students for these products. Mm. And so there's a lot of internalized silence and shame around menstruation that has stopped people from realizing that this um, practice of having to use unhygienic substitutes or using the same product for too long, these are all experiences of what period poverty looks like. Mm. And how can we stop the stigma around menstruation? The best thing we can do to stop the stigma around menstruation is talk about periods and take periods out of the closet. Um, so sometimes that could be talking about the funny things about periods. Um, sometimes that could be just talking about different products. There's so many more products that are out there now. Um, it also means talking about menstruation education. And in Massachusetts, in our health ed frameworks, which are currently from 1999, but even in the newly proposed health frameworks for Massachusetts schools, there's no menstruation mention of menstruation education. Wow. So young people, people get their periods for the first time all the time and think that they are dying because they don't know what's happening to them. How can viewers learn more about MassNow and get involved? So MassNow is a member-led organization. We thrive on the support of our volunteers, and so there is room for anyone to get involved. You can go to our website, massnow.org, to become a member and see our different volunteer opportunities, whether it's with the Massachusetts Menstrual Equity Coalition or Fighting for Comprehensive Sex Ed or Universal Child Care. There's a number of different issues that we're working on, and there's something for everyone to take action.